The other way to access a, a parameter that we may need is to use an Excel sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create an Excel, an Excel sheet. I'm just going to use a blank document. And you're going to want to um, save this in the same folder that you have your project. Uh, let's see, okay, so I'm going to start out with uh, that you don't want any headers or anything in here. You want to make sure that you just have the list of the parameters. I'm going to start with a parameter name here. Uh, and I'm going to say uh, standard screw length because uh, I'm going to be using the same screw very often in the in this assembly and the standard screw length is going to be one and a half inches so you put your value in the next column and then the units in the third column and that's going to be inches so we'll go ahead and save this and we'll save it in the folder that we had in it's under my documents and under the inventor and wall mount 3d okay so there's already one in here so i'm going to make this one a uh, different name so i'll say for the blue chick blue chick standard parameters so i'm going to press save and now that that is a spreadsheet that's available to me in that folder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we sh you want to keep this open uh, or otherwise um, you won't be able to access the parameters. So I'm going to keep it open. I'm going to put it off to the side and now I'm going to use that in the holes that I'm going to be going to make. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, a cross dowel hole. So you have to go into the part you don't want to go into any of the sketches. You want to stay in the part file, and you're gonna. Um, you could use you could use the sketch. You could actually put the circle in the sketch, and then uh, you can extrude it. But I'm gonna use the hole command under 3D model, and it gives you some parameters here that you can um, create your hole. Uh, this particular hole is gonna be 0.43 inches in diameter. Uh, and I want to um, place it somewhere around here. It doesn't really matter where right now. Uh, you can see that it doesn't actually create a hole because it doesn't know where to create it through or to. So I can actually change that now. I can say through all. So you can see that it goes all the way through to the bottom. And these two references are um, the, the distances from the edges or whatever other geometry that you can find to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use the first reference and this is going to be uh, calculated from the the Excel file. I don't have that information yet available so I'm just going to use some arbitrary number and I'll say 0.6 for now and from this edge I'll put 0.75. Actually, I'll just put 0.5. And that's from the center. So I'm going to press OK. And now I want to move this away from this edge according to this, the, the length of the screw. So first thing you need to do is go into the parameters. You're still in the the actual part file. You want to go into the parameters and you're going to use the link. And it'll open up the the folder that your your project is in. You're going to double click on the or click on and open the spreadsheet that you want to use. And now you can see that the 
parameter that you want is exposed, and that is the standard screw length. And you can see that it's, see if I can open that up a little bit. Yeah, you can see that the location of the file, and then the parameters under that file. And if you add another parameter, which I'm going to do here, because I want to use, um, I want to use this in conjunction with another parameter, uh, standard uh, thickness of wood. Standard thickness of material. Uh, I'll make that a 0.75 inches. And we're going to go ahead and save that. I'll put that aside for now. And whenever you save this, um, it'll you'll see that it'll save many times. You'll have the little um, hourglass or the uh, the waiting um, cursor um, blink on and off. And every time that thing blinks on and off, it'll be uh, updating a part in your assembly. It starts to get a little bit unwieldy if you have a very large assembly. So you want to take that into consideration. Okay, so now what we want to do is, so we saved it, we want to press the update, and then we can go back into the parameters, and you'll notice that that is also an exposed parameter that we can use. So we're going to use that in the length, um, the distance from here to here, and I can go ahead and just edit it, and change that, um, that parameter. You can go into either one of these. And then you can click on the little um, arrow here. And now the, the parameters are um, able to be used. So I'm going to take the standard screw length. And I'm going to use that. And you can see that it's a little too far. So we have to subtract the thickness of this wood as well. So. Okay, so you can see that, that they're both in there as, a, as an actual um, formula now. So we can go ahead and accept that. Um, I might want it to be a little bit uh, closer because I want more of the screw threads to go into the, the cross dowel. So I might um, introduce another parameter. Uh, maybe the uh, cross dial um, hole size, and I can use that uh, to be able to um, back it up a little bit. Or you can just manually put it back, maybe um, in my circumstance, probably a point two. So when you actually have the screw put in there in the assembly, you'll see where the screw is actually going to end up, and you can modify that parameter a little bit. So you can have that parameter as a another parameter in your in your Excel file. Okay, and another place where you can find the, your parameters and look at your formulas, you just go back to your parameters icon, and you can see where we actually put that formula. You can go back into that. You can even name this uh, a specific name, something more thoughtful. Um, and you can um, you can see the the formula, and you can also modify the formula. Like like maybe I want to change this this um, number to point one, and then that will change in the in the actual part. The update was lit, and I didn't see anything that needed to be updated, but it's good to press that just in case something needs to be updated. So I need to put a hole in the back here, so let me go ahead and do that as well. Uh, this would be for the screw hole to be mated with this uh, part, so this can be fastened together. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, I think I want to put another... Uh, another... Uh, parameter in the Excel file, so because I'm going to be using that quite a bit um, from a uh, distance from the edge. So 
I'll make that 0.5 for now. And that will be in inches. So I'm going to save that. So that's saved. And you'll see that this also lit up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the update. So that parameter is now exposed and I can use it. So I'm going to put another hole. And I'll put it right there. And you can see that it used the, the last diameter that I um, that was used before. So I'm just going to put 0.25. This can also be a, uh, an Excel um, parameter too, like a standard fastener diameter. Um, And from this edge, actually, yeah, I made a modification to that so I can't access it yet. So I click on the reference from this edge. I actually want to put the new parameter that we just made, the fastener distance from edge. And I'll update this one as well to reflect that. So, and from the top here, I want it to be half of the the thickness of the material. So I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to find the standard thickness of the material, and I'm going to divide that by two. So now it's in the very it's in the very center of that or midpoint of the thickness. Now I don't want it to go all the way through. I want it to only go to the cross dial hole. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu, and it's going to be two and I select the item that I want it to be, want it to hit. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And you can see that it only goes to this, to this hole. It doesn't go through. Now I have a, a cross-dial hole and a transverse hole to meet that cross-dial cross hole. 